Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. It's, uh, this week I have been struggling with technology. Uh, my printer broke down, uh, so I had to go and get a new one. Um, I did Saracens and um, there was a shortage of bacon, but is, yes, shock horror. Uh, <laughs> that's a major contention of deprived people of a bacon butty uh, for breakfast and um, uh, it's tantamount to a riot. Um, Happy birthday to you. Well, thank you. It's the first time I've ever had a birthday apple. Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update from a very, very bright but cold central London. Hence, hat and sunglasses. Uh, and um, that's about it. Quite a week this week. Last week I was out virtually every night. In fact, I got so fed up of uh, eating sandwiches for lunch and sandwiches for tea. I was so relieved uh, when Thursday I actually managed to cook something of my own. Of my own. Yay! Uh, but this week uh, it's good because um, I'm um, I'm not out as much. So until next week, a goodbye. Because uh, you know it's like on these big occasions, it's always like oh I remember where I was and what have you. So um, I thought, where am I? I'll take a picture of where I am at 11 p.m. on Friday the 31st of um, of January. So here it is. And of course, I'm on the tube. Yes, I was coming home from the roundhouse. Um, yes, I'm not in the UK. Probably have a guess where I am if I turn around this way. The noise of the traffic probably gives it away. And also the fact that there is an Indian wedding going on. Yes, I'm in India. Update. Yes, as you may have gathered from uh, last week's update, uh, I've been in India. The whole of the Vodafone network in Bangalore, uh, because I've been to Bangalore and Mumbai, uh, that uh, decided uh, to uh, uh, collapse on the um, Sunday evening. So uh, instead of uh, being able to get an Uber, um, I had to resort to, to uh, a hotel taxi. Um, then in the morning, uh, it had managed to repair itself overnight uh, and uh, I could book Uber um, and the car that came was rather interesting. It looked like it had been put through one of the crushes at a um, car scrapyard uh, but it still worked and it got me there on time. Uh, driver was pleasant. Um, uh, can't say the car was uh, in in uh, much nick though, um, but kind of everything. I went off to the classic car show uh, with Paul. Um, we decided to go a slightly different way. Uh, I met him in central London, and he had, he had to go and buy his sister um, a birthday present, which was going to be one of the Thames Rip Boat. Uh, uh, rides um, and then uh, we thought well we'll go off from there to the uh, classic car shop which is being held in Olympia uh, so we walked there all four miles of it and um, it wasn't actually too bad a walk uh, managed to go down the mile through Green Park through Hyde Park and um, then the last little bit down uh, Kensington High Street um, and boy did I need a cup of tea when we got there this week I've been looking at uh, boats, well dinghies to be precise, uh, at um, Alexandra Palace, uh, which was a little closer than um, Olympia. Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. I'm in Manchester, look, there are trams, or there will be a tram shortly going past. Um, yes, I'm here for work. Yes, I should have been in Barcelona this week, uh, but because of the coronavirus, uh, Mobile World Congress, which is what I was going to, uh, has been cancelled. Um, uh, work got uh, a little bit hectic um, because I had to uh, do a little bit of um, uh, rejigging because uh, some delegations. Uh, uh, that we were supposed to be having in uh, didn't want to travel because of the coronavirus. 
um, the biggest thing that's happened this week is um, the lack of toilet rolls in Sainsbury's. Um, yes, because of the coronavirus and people panic buying toilet roll and um, seemingly must have something wrong with them because they need uh, so much toilet roll. Um, uh, even isolating 14 days, I'm not sure you'd go through an entire pack of 24 toilet roll. Now this holiday is starting to be different. This, I'm in an extremely quiet Luton Airport. Um, but I'm not flying from here because they cancelled the flight to Tenerife. So we're having to go tomorrow from Gatwick, hopefully, if the Spanish state of emergency because of coronavirus uh, doesn't put pay to that one. So will I get to Tenerife? No, we didn't make it. To, we didn't make it to Tenerife. We made it to another place, beginning with T. Torquay. Uh, it's all on lockdown, of course, as you know, with um, uh, COVID nineteen uh, sort of emergency. Um, getting fruit and veg and stuff is getting increasingly difficult. Um, I. Um, Last week wasn't too bad. You could go into supermarkets and, and shops. Uh, I went to Tesco's today after the new restrictions have been brought in and I was having it. I had to queue. Uh, luckily, luckily, there wasn't that many people. Uh, but I think uh, when I need to go for um, something else uh, to a major supermarket, I can see I'm going to have to go very early and um, probably spend an awful long time queuing to get in. Uh, it's going to be fun. Um, hopefully it will be worth it and the NHS and everything will not collapse. Um, we'll save a lot of lives. Yes, it's week two of uh, lockdown, or the start of week two of lockdown. Uh, I'm getting out, managing to get out for my uh, daily uh, exercise. Um, uh, the food situation is... Um, I'm finding I'm shopping at local shops and doing the old-fashioned way of going to certain shops for certain things. Uh, I'm getting, uh, getting uh, most everything uh, I need. Um, it's, it's quite strange, isn't it? Uh, life has become um, interesting in that you get excited about finding uh, certain products. Yesterday, I actually found washing up liquid. Think of it. I actually saw a pile of toilet roll. Uh, not that I actually brought any, but I did see some in um, in a shop as I was going past uh, this evening because I've been out shopping uh, and combining it with a bike ride. Um, so I've been doing two things in one. So there we are, reducing my uh, unnecessary travel. Um, so until next week, um, and who knows what exciting products I'll have brought in another week. Goodbye. Life is getting into a reasonably regular pattern of lots of cycling. Um, it's causing me to lose weight. Uh, I'm, I'm getting used to the sort of the shopping and the queuing. Uh, it's going back to the days of the war, isn't it? Um, I'm not finding I'd, that I'm bored, really. If, if I do anything, if I, 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 I seem to be running out of time to do things, which is good. For. And it's Easter Monday, uh, so quite an unusual Easter. Uh, it was supposed to be a trip to London no, to um, celebrate my dad's 80th birthday, which was on uh, Easter Sunday. Uh, but instead, um, because of uh, the lockdown in the, as a result of COVID-19, um, that was all cancelled because the hotel shut and, uh, of course, it classes as an unnecessary journey. Uh, so uh, we had to do the next best thing, which was use modern technology, where we all got together uh, to uh, sing very badly a happy birthday. Uh, we'll uh, save you uh, uh, the joys of that. Um, but as you can see, he uh, had a little cake uh, and uh, we had a nice uh, chat to him uh, on uh, 
uh, his uh, special day, yes, 80 years old, I suppose. Uh, and um, uh, on a personal note, I'm, I'm sort of getting quite used to this um, uh, self-isolation. Um, uh, I suppose initially there was uh, some uh, trepidation and anxiety, mainly because life uh, was abruptly changed. Um, but now I know I'm not going to starve um, and I can still communicate with people, uh, albeit sort of uh, virtually these days. Um, it's sort of okay, really. Um, I'm, I'm managing quite well. I think it would be slightly different if I, I couldn't go out. I mean, obviously living in a flat, don't have a balcony or a garden. Um, but um, the being able to go out does help. Uh, a little bit change of scene. Yes, so enters another week of lockdown. Uh, I calculated just week five, but they were saying it was week six on the TV. But like everything, it's all just blurring into one at the moment. Um, I'm having a little difficulty in remembering what day it is, even though uh, I'm still working, but working from home, um, even though there is a distinction between uh, working week and weekend, it's still becoming increasingly difficult to sort of uh, decide what day of the week it actually is. Luckily, I have calendars. Uh, Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. Uh, yes, we're in uh, lockdown week six and there seems to be movement on um, on coming out of lockdown. Yes, wonder what we're going to have. Um, but no doubt we'll see when the Prime Minister uh, does his announcement on Sunday. Um, I know if... Uh, I fixed my dad's phone, yes, I uh, had to uh, have it uh, sent to me because um, he's got a new phone, new smartphone and was having a little bit of difficulty in uh, setting it up and um, it turns out that uh, uh, we mixed nano sim and um, micro sim up uh, so uh, I've got to buy a micro sim adapter um, to get the thing to work. I've sort of managed to get it to work at the moment by sort of putting the sim card in and sort of skewing it at an angle but it's not going to stay like that. Uh, so uh, it's set up, just now ordered a, uh, an adapter uh, which hopefully should come by Friday, uh, Amazon willing. And then um, I'm going to have to go through the rigmarole of uh, posting uh, it all back to him. Uh, so that means I'm going to have to uh, try and get around to the post office when the post office is open, which is not really open for very long. Um, but uh, probably have to sort of take a morning off work to do that. It's a beggar when you have to do, uh, you, have, you have to take a morning off work just to go to the post office these days. What else have been doing? Oh yes, I've had some good stuff with the post office this week. Yes, I've had a good service and a slow service. So um, I got a um, parcel uh, from my mother because I had to fix my dad's mobile phone. So they sent me his mobile phone. Um, and um, that came all the way from Manchester in... 24 hours and then I got another parcel and this other parcel which I was sitting there thinking why who's sending me parcels because I haven't actually I haven't actually um, ordered anything online so I'm not expecting anything um, and then it turns out it was an Easter egg yes it was an Easter egg from my nephew um, but it was posted on the 8th of April so it had taken five weeks to get to me. It was still intact and I ate it. Uh, well, but it was intact. It hadn't been bashed too much. It was just sort of rather broken in its box. Um, uh, but it was, you know, ever knows where it has been. All it had to come from was from Bury St Edmund. So that's what, 90 mile away from London. Um, and it's taken five weeks. Maybe the postman uh, walked all the way with it. Um, 
it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know. So you get some good service and you get some slow service. Um, it does make you wonder what they do with the Paul sometimes, doesn't it? But I suppose they're a bit busy at the moment and uh, they haven't got as many people in with Covid going on. But uh, still, I think five weeks to get from Bury St Edmunds is pushing it a little bit. Um, well, as I've been knowing, I also cycled, cycled into um, Central London to practice uh, to see how I could, how I managed that uh, 13 miles. Um, did that for, um, did that there in one hour um, 17 minutes and on the way back one hour 28 minutes. The difference being I gave West Hill, uh, which was like riding Everest. Um, but luckily, I have a hybrid mountain bike. It may not be as fast as a as a, a, um, a, a street bike, but it's got good gears. Um, uh, I did have to stop at the top because uh, it was um, a little uh, hot, to say the least. Um, but yes, it does. It does. You know, an hour, hour and a half on the way home. Um, that's not bad, that's about comparable to sort of taking public transport so when we're allowed back in the office I will be able to um, cycling and um, what else have been up to? Oh another anniversary as well uh, as well as the blogs uh, it's also been well just over a year now um, and I haven't actually used any gas Yes, I thought I'll do my little bit for uh, trying to save the environment and reduce my carbon footprint. So uh, last May it was um, switch the uh, gas off and uh, I haven't used any since. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get on holiday to Wales at the end of July if they open things up and we can stay over. Fingers crossed. Um, so uh, things are moving a little bit slowly. Uh, so uh, until next week, goodbye. Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. Yes, I thought I would, as I'm uh, out cycling, combine my um, weekly update with a bit of fresh air and also I think you're getting fed up with the background uh, being uh, my living room. Yes, today we've had the uh, lockdown restrictions in England eased. Yes, great. That means I'll be able to uh, definitely go on holiday and I'm um, going to extend my annual leave because I certainly wasn't going to have um, uh, sort of like two weeks of sitting home doing nothing. Uh, three days was all right last week, but two weeks is probably pushing it a little bit. Yes, I've achieved the uh, challenge which was to ride 600 kilometres uh, in a month and I made it. Yes, just got myself a new face covering. Yes, do you like it? Uh, I decided I'd buy one rather than uh, actually um, trying to make my own. I've been being techie this week. Um, I, uh, I've been using the Sainsbury's Smart Shop app uh, whereby uh, you uh, sort of use your phone, scan the products uh, and pack your bags as you're going round, uh, which was really good because after, not last week, the week before, when sort of like I had a full shopping trolley, uh, or a, few, a full basket, and was um, dropping... Uh, stuff all over the floor and trying to drag me trolley on wheels and everything. At least I just went round and filled the trolley on wheels up. Uh, also some good news on the insurance front. Yes, uh, finally um, we've heard of the insurance company uh, about the uh, cancellation of our holiday in uh, March just as lockdown was uh, starting and they say we got a valid claim. However, we got to fill out yeah, more forms for it, but um, that's some progress, uh, to say the least. Yes, I'm in Tembe on holiday. Look, sea, beach, sun. This week I'm going off to uh, see my parents, yay, for the first time since February. Um, I've rented a car, uh, which I was I booked from Finchley, and... Um, 
Then I got a phone call uh, saying, Oh, Finch is closed because of COVID. Uh, come to um, Park Royal. Yes. So um, I had to use a tube, uh, which was an amazing thing because the last time I used a tube was in March. Yes, another week. Um, more fly tipping. Yes, last week we had um, the base of the bed, uh, and now we got the mattress. Yes, I, uh, I just don't know where it's coming from. And yes, this week I managed to go out uh, uh, with the Ramblers for the first time since lockdown started. Yes, uh, walking his bag. Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. Yes, the heat has gone, thankfully. Um, I, I I was having difficulty uh, with uh, temperatures in the 30s and also the tropical nights, as they were called. Unfortunately, not many palm trees around, uh, but uh, oh, I, saw, oh, I see that would be nice if it was, uh, if it was by the seaside. Well, as predicted, they added Croatia to the um, list for places that you had to quarantine when you come out to the UK. So that holiday's off and I spent the whole of last Friday morning um, uh, requesting refunds. Um, being partially successful with it, uh, I got refund, uh, well, as in terms of voucher, from uh, the um, Buzz coach service that we were going to use between uh, Split and uh, and uh, Zagreb and I got some money back on uh, one of the tickets for between um, Munich and uh, Paris because one leg of the journey was a really cheap ticket so we didn't get any money back on that one but the other one was a bit more expensive so we got money back and um, I moved the Eurostar uh, journey uh, to uh, March so hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, go for a sort of mini break to Paris um, let's see if the Covid situation doesn't uh, uh, worsen in France and um, we decided as we'd uh, got uh, the flight to Munich booked uh, and we couldn't get any money back for that I um, changed the return bit and we're going for a longish um, not quite weak uh, in Munich uh, just fingers crossed that we don't end up with the government putting uh, Germany on the uh, quarantine list what else has been happening nothing much really so sort of holiday planning oh I went for a very long bike ride uh, yesterday um, went from Bedford to St Neots and back and St Neots was packed solid and I thought uh, going to uh, the coast or not going to the coast would uh, uh, enable us to sort of have a reasonable space to go but uh, uh, there was a little bit of not social distancing going on there I went to a cafe there and um, to get a cup of tea and I was the only one queuing up and wearing a face mask everybody else wasn't and it was a bit uh, like Frank Carnot's in there, uh, but uh, I suppose you can't have everything perfect all the time, can you? And uh, also, it's a bit of good news from the unraveling of all the plans to go to Croatia. I've heard back from Austrian Railways, and uh, they have said uh, the very nice people at Austrian Railways that is that uh, they will be giving um, a voucher back for we well, we had ten percent refund charge, but we we get in a fair chunk of money back, and um, uh, that will go to um, towards next year's trip. Yes, because hopefully we'll have a coronavirus vaccine by the time we get round to potentially going to Croatia next September. And welcome to this week's weekly update from Germany. And. Um, I was, today, supposed to be going back to uh, the office for the first time since, what was it, March? Um, but, uh, obviously, as you know, the government has changed its advice to work from home if uh, you can, and as I can, I'm working from home. Um, because, to be honest with you, it's not that essential I go in the office. Uh, so, um, uh, 
another working another six months of working from home joy so um i've had my flu jab yes that was uh, uh exciting experience and um despite me filling out a very long questionnaire online um when i went to get the uh, jab at boots i had yeah more more questions to be uh, to to be uh asked I mean, i'm surprised they didn't uh, sort of ask for a dna sample and uh, and references before they even gave me the blooming injection yes final holiday uh, that's been booked um pre covid and um currently in northeast of england in um northumberland yes and we've um where have we been? Uh, we went to Linda's Farm today. Um, we went to um, Cragside yesterday, which was really, really good. Uh, managed to avoid the rain so far as well. Um, it's uh, rained a little bit. Uh, we also went to... Um, where was it? Um, uh, Saltburn by the Sea work after uh, a nice uh, week off and um, turned out to be a bit of a pricey week because I managed to leave my um, bag with my camera equipment in uh, in a service station on the M1. Didn't realise until I um, was getting the train back uh, from Flitic and um, I had to rent a car the following day and go and get the uh, camera equipment back. Applied for um, the uh, uh, £6 a week uh, sort of like uh, tax rebate uh, for uh, uh, helping towards energy costs while working at home. What have I been doing this week? Well, I have been out uh, doing some more ball retrieving duties at um, Saracens. Uh, it was Saracens uh, women's team uh, played against BMP Durham Sharks, I think is what they were called. Um, yes, uh, I'm still working from home uh, till probably um, spring next year. Uh, when we move to our uh, new offices, hopefully. Maybe I'll get to go in. I saw a picture of them the other day. They look very nice from the inside. Um, <laughs> might be able to get to experience them in uh, in person eventually. And um, I'm uh, prepared for uh, lockdown 2.0. I brought... Uh, Brought my Christmas cards just in case um, uh, the uh, lockdown continues into uh, December. The local fox is still keeping me awake. Uh, I'm sure there's something wrong with it. It just it just sort of runs around. I don't know whether barking is the right word uh, or sounding like it's being strangled all the time. Um, it's sort of this funny yap bark strangle sound it's making and it seems to want to make it about 3 a.m uh and that's also when it seems to have fights as well uh, i had to um repair the uh, uh the door on the shower uh cubicle because um a bit of it decided that it was going to part company and I said, they're thinking, well, stood there looking at it, thinking, oh dear, that's not good. Um, uh, and then had to take the door off and uh, sort of, hopefully, well, I managed to get it to go back into where it should have gone. Um, whether it'll stay like that, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I don't need that door breaking while we're in the middle of uh lockdown it's it's bad enough trying to get anything uh at the moment um let alone have to do it uh when shops are on click and collect <laughs> that would be interesting going uh can I have a new shower door on click and collect and um and then turning up on the bicycle <laughs> hello and welcome to this week's weekly update well, I know we've been allowed to um, mix 
with three households um, over the uh, five days um, around Christmas. That's the 23rd to the 27th, wasn't it, of uh, December. But um, we decided that um, I'm not going to go up to my parents because as I don't possess a car, uh, it's going to be too much hassle uh, to try and use the train. And um, also um, renting a car will cost an absolutely small fortune for that time. And I don't can't say I really fancy driving because uh, be thousands and millions of other people on the road. Uh, so it's not going to be pleasant. Uh, so for the first time in 26 years, it's going to be Christmas at home. Let's just go back from uh, my uh, daily exercise cycle this time. It was dark. Uh, it's quite nice because uh, I chose the route with more housing on it. Uh, so uh, I could have a look at what people are doing with Christmas decorations wise. Um, some people have gone, uh, um, as usual, OTT. But it's still looking more and more Christmassy. Now we're only the 1st of December. And I managed to get all my Christmas presents uh, done. Uh, so, um, what was, where are we now? Um, two, three weeks to Christmas. I'm, um, I'm good to go. Yes, normally I'm running around on Christmas Eve trying to get everything. Um, so that's one positive of this year. At least I have to be a bit more organised. Yes, the, uh, Chance of doing some volunteering has taken a step backwards because um, we're now, well, we will be as of uh, midnight tonight in tier three in London. So um, uh, no uh, spectators at uh, uh, sports events. So that puts pay to the um, Saracens uh, test event that I was going to be doing uh, on uh, Saturday. But uh, I suppose it is what it is. And um, I hope you're all prepared uh, for this very strange COVID affected uh, Christmas. Uh, so I've, uh, I've got all my Christmas food and um, I'm, uh, I've got the Christmas Skyping schedule sorted. Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. Yes, um, the digital Christmas went well. Um, I had uh, three Skype calls throughout the day.